as we confront the darkness within, it's essential to remember that this is not something to be feared. It's not something to reject, even. The shadow part of us holds valuable lessons for us. Valuable insights that we need to look at, we need to be able to access. It's through this process of embracing and transformation that our shadow can be fully embodied by the light. You see? The turbulence also serves as a catalyst for awakening. By awakening, you're going to you're going to be faced with challenges and even disorienting processes, right? Where you just feel like you're not calibrated correctly. You got to recalibrate. It can feel like you're losing your footing in a world that like no longer makes sense. And that's tempting to retreat back into your old ways, your old patterns and seek refuge in the, all of those distractions and all of that noise and all of that chaos. So in these moments of doubt and confusion, we can remind ourselves of our own purpose and our own mission and ask ourselves, why did I choose to be here? What is the higher purpose behind the turbulence that I am experiencing? Because these questions will help us realign with our soul's path and find meaning and healing in the chaos. The teachings emphasize, emphasize the importance of staying connected to our intuition, our inner guidance, our voice of God within us. To connect with our intuition, we've got to be able to Cultivate a sense of inner quiet, inner stillness, and comfort in having that. So many are not comfortable being quiet and still. We must learn to trust the subtle nudges and the insights that arise from within us. It's in these moments of inner knowing that we can find true clarity and direction. In times of turbulence, it's easy to become overwhelmed by external events and lose sight of our inner strength. And this is what it means in that passage in the Bible where it says you have to plant your feet firmly in the foundation of faith and not see what plays out before your eyes, but know from within what will take place on the on the outcome of it have your faith and your focus in that direction regardless of the shit you're seeing in front of you it's essential to remember that we are not victims of circumstance we're co-creators of our reality and we have the power to shape our experiences through our thoughts and focused intent. Our belief in those intentions 
is what is creating this new earth. And as we navigate this turbulence, we are called to be grounded, resilient, and connected to our inner guidance, our inner compass. We're invited to cultivate physical, emotional, and mental well-being, as well as deepen our spiritual connections. We have a unique role to play in this transition to a new earth where higher frequencies of love and unity will prevail. But we are the beacons of stabilization of these forces amidst the chaos, which means that you have to truly know thyself in order to know thy power that lies within. The beacons of light and love who can offer guidance and support to those in confusion and fear and also be co-creators of a safe travel, a safe passage, a safe shore for all of those ships to land on and walk upon and live upon and rejoice upon. Our journey is not without challenges. But again, it is indeed a journey of profound meaning and purpose. And it's an honor to be here in these moments. It's an honor. I'm excited. I welcome it. I look forward to creating a new world with you. It is a journey of awakening to our true nature as spiritual beings as we were meant to be and co-creators of our own reality finally in the face of uncertainty let us continue to remember that we are not alone we have a vast network of spiritual guides angels otherworldly beings higher beings cosmic forces whatever you want to call it Surrounding us, watching us, encouraging us, rooting us on. We are part of a greater tapestry of existence than we were ever allowed to be aware of. And our inv individual choices and actions have a ripple effect on the entire collective consciousness. For each one of us that wakes up, it ripple effects and radiates outward to other people assisting in their awakening as well without doing anything other than our own inner work so together we do we can and we will shape a world that reflects the highest aspirations of the human spirit and our divine potential within all of us And it is my honor and privilege to be here with you. Please click the link in the description box below. Love and light.